Soon the office was a bright ballroom on a winter's night. In came a fiddler with a music book. In came Mr Fezziwig. In came Mrs Fezziwig, one fast smile. In came the three laughing Miss Fezziwigs. In came the six young men whose hearts they broke. In came the housemaid with her cousin, the baker. In came the cook with her brother's special friend, the milkman. In they all came, one after another. A wonderful party follows. Everyone eats and drinks and dances all evening. When the clock struck eleven, the party ended. Mr and Mrs Fezziwig stood one on either side of the door. Old Scrooge remembered everything, enjoyed everything. It was not until now when the bright faces of his former self and Dick were turned from them that he remembered the ghost. It was looking full upon him while the light upon its head burnt very clear. The spirit signed to him to listen to the two apprentices. They were talking about how much they loved Mr Fezziwig. Does he deserve so much gratitude? asked the spirit. He only spent a few pounds on these boys. It isn't that spirit, said Scrooge, speaking like his former self. Mr Fezziwig has the power to make us happy or unhappy. Scrooge felt the spirit's glance and stopped. What is the matter? asked the ghost. Nothing, said Scrooge. Something, I think, the ghost insisted. No, said Scrooge. No, I, I wish I could say a word or two to my clerk just now.